So what is the worst Pokemon in every generation? Yes. Oh my worst Pokemon. My least favorite Pokemon is included. Yes, the worst Pokemon by every generation. And first we time of Gen 1. So what is the worst Pokemon in Gen 1? Yes, we're gonna go for all of these Pokemon here. But this one should be an easy one to do. And that is Jinx. Yes, Jinx is a Pokemon that I think nobody likes Jinx. Jinx is one of the creepiest Pokemon in all of existence. Why would you want this thing on your team? Why? Okay, I know I know Gen 1 didn't really have many ice types, but out of all the ice types, why would he have Jinx over Lapras or Articuno? I know Jinx is a psychic type, but again, it's creepy. Why would I want a Jinx on my team? The other psychic types are water ice types. And of course, later on, we got more ice types. Let's thank God for that. Or we'll also be stuck using Lapras or Articuno every single game. If it wasn't for Jinx. Because of Jinx. Gen 2. It's easy. Unknown. Unknown is one of the most useless Pokemon of all time. Why? It's because Unknown only uses Hidden Power. Hidden Power is garbage. It is a very bad move. And yeah. That was an easy choice for Gen 2 because Unknown is just a completely useless Pokemon. It's like, why would you have an Unknown on your team? Unknown sucks so much that it's just why. Gen 3. Gen 3 is one of my favorite generations. But even with all these amazing Pokemon, there are a few bad Pokemon. There's Love Disk, completely useless. Why would you have Love Disk over Rayward, Sarpedo, Crawdont? Or literally any other water type of that generation. Yes, except for Cast Form. Cast Form, because it's a freaking pair of balls. But the worst Pokemon of the generation is Sedenta. Sedenta is a useless Pokemon. Some people say, but it has Wonder God. Well, what if the Pokemon has, what if we have to fight Tyranitar? Well, Sedenta can't even fight. Yes, because Sedenta only has 1 HP. And. Every time you use a sand attack or you know, crit sandstorm or hail, you take damage every turn. Okay? You take damage every turn. And especially, yeah, Sedenza also is very weak to fire types. Everybody at least has a fire type on their team. It is one of the primary types of the game. And yeah, why would you, and also dark types as well. Why would you want leave this thing on your team? You know, especially in Gen 3, Bug type wasn't really that great. I know Bug type has gotten better, but why would he pick Sedenza over Scizor? Okay, why? Sedenza sucks. Simple or Ninja Ask or literally any other better Bug type. Gen 4. What is the worst Pokemon in Gen 4? This is actually a pretty hard question. Yes, there's Mime Jr. Don't like Mr. Mime. Don't like it's pre evolution. Don't like Wiki. Wiki, that thing is Wiki. Wit is just ugly. And. But there wasn't really many. De but then, I forgot. Burmy exists. Yes. This piece of crap still is still a Pokemon. Burmy is one of the worst Pokemon of all time. It has a few moves. It evolves into something very ugly known as Wormadam. The only thing way I would use Bur reason you would use Burmy. Is you evolve it into Marfum, which is actually pretty decent with Quiver Dance. But why would he like this thing? Boomy is just an ugly Pokemon. It's just not an appealing Pokemon to anyone. It, no one likes Boomy. It is one of the least liked Pokemon of all time. So of course, Boomy sucks. Gen 5. Gen 5 has a lot of hit or miss Pokemon. No pawn attended. But. What is the worst Generation 5 Pokemon? Well, I don't like the Garfito line, but at least they're decent Psychic types. At least they're good in battle. At least they're much better than Jinx in Generation 1. Kring, Kring, and Kring Kring. Yes, those things exist. They are just awful. And then we have... Yes. Let's go all the way back to the beginning of the game. Pitchrat. Yes, Patrat is the war, but now Patrat is not as annoying as its evolution. Watchog. First of all, Watchog is a creepy looking Pokemon, even though they reach the rat, rat, 
rat Pokemon. Also, it's a very annoying Pokemon. It has very annoying star moves. That, like, hypnosis. Oh, no, not hypnosis. And moves that are just very annoying. Our talk is just a very annoying Pokemon to fight. And it's just not a good Pokemon. Uh, uh, even then, a bad stat. There are better Pokemon added strategies, but it's still a very annoying Pokemon to fight. Considering how common the Pokemon is for the reason. Number 5. Next is Generation 6. Well, that's an easy one. These two things. Aurorities and Swarpuff. Ugh. There's also Diggisby, but I have found out, but I like Diggisby a bit more because of the big Sungus meme. But Aurorities and Swarpuff? Why? Why did you make one of the first fairy types look so ugly? They are just ugly Pokemon. Fairy types are supposed to be beautiful, not ugly. I get it. Not every fairy Pokemon has to be beautiful, but come on. The woman teeth and the sword puff, they're just like Jinx all over again. Just ugly Pokemon. Gen 7. Oh, that's an easy one. Bruxis. Do I even have to explain why this Pokemon is awful? Do I even have to explain? Moving on. Gen 8. What is the worst Generation 8 Pokemon? Generation 8 to me has a water put bat not so great Pokemon. There is Britbug because it's just ugly. We also have the Fossils, which are also ugly. But at least a few of them, at least the good in battle. That's the only thing going for them. And then we, have, we also have Greedent, which is also another big Sungus Pokemon. But again, it looks like big. It looks like it looks like a meme, so it gets a pass. So, what is the worst Pokemon of the generation? There's also the weird hat Pokemon. I don't know why I have a Pokemon based off hats now. But again, this is Gen. We also have Alcremie, though. We were, it's a don't like the fact that they designed it to look like an anime girl. I know it's supposed to be a fairy type. But I said not all. Oh, all fairy types don't have to be. Uh, all have to be. But yeah, but yeah, the worst Pokemon had to be the two sneezing dragons. Dracofist, he's good competitively, so he gets a pass. But Dracozolt and Octozolt are probably the ugliest mm, I have ever seen. Oh, besides Zinx and Boxes. At least they're still better than, at least I still find those things. At least I still find these abominations of nature still better than Zinx. Because at least these things won't give me nightmares. Because if they do... If they because they can't even do anything, yeah, they're basically just evolutionary rejects. I know, but they're supposed to be based off of this and this and this. And another one up would be Cowriax, one of the ugliest mythicals of all time. Ugh, Cowriax. Ugh, why did they make such horrible Pokemon this generation? We have a water. I have a water Pokemon that do not have good feeling swords. Pinotin looks like a butt. Looks like it has a butt for a face. And it's just a lot of not good Pokemon. There's also some decent Pokemon, but yeah, a water Pokemon maybe we realize that the Gen Eight is not even that great. And also, no, and also some honorable mentions for Gen Seven would be Melmet, Tan, and Melmetal. Still don't like those things. Still can't get over the fact that those things are just. Existing Puku Muku because it's useless. Why would he use Puku Muku? It sucks. And yeah, there's not really that many bad Gen 7 Pokemon. Even the ones that people don't like, I actually like. But yeah, Gen 8. Maybe one day I'll get over the fact that they removed the National Jacks in Gen 8 and actually play the game and experience these games for myself. But for right now, goodbye. <laughs>